you know, when I offer my events, for example, or when I'm working with people, essentially what, I, what I'm giving myself to is to assist others in their choice to heal. Okay. So healing isn't something that I, I don't provide that for you. Okay. I, I'm not an, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the healer. Okay. But there is a healer, if you will. And actually what it, it, what, what, I guess, how should I say? So when a person decides for an outcome in life, uh, so if you're suffering from something and you want to get over it, you know, uh, or you want to get through it, or you, you'd like a better outcome or a better experience of life, um, you make a choice for that. And then you run into different hurdles and obstacles and adversity that kind of stands between you and that perceived outcome and of something that speaks to your heart, let's say. So you're walking towards that, all kinds of stuff comes up. So when stuff comes up, you know, I'm, I, I, if you choose to move through it, I'm just someone who would stand with you in your choice to do so. Okay. Right. And so I see myself more as a brother, to be quite honest with you, or as a friend uh, who has a similar interest. And our joint interest, if you will, is healing. And you present a problem or an issue. I don't look at it as yours. It's your experience. It's what you're facing. It's the adversity that's in your life. And it's the promise that speaks to you. Right. But the underlying dynamics behind all of that, you know, are common to all of us. So, uh, you know, maybe if we've actually worked on an issue, I could, uh, you know, it would become more clear. Yeah. But I claim those dynamics for myself. I don't see them as yours and not mine. Right. 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 Because so we're all in this together. We're all in this together. Thank mm -hmm. you.